All right, so Ninja Kiwi just released their newest update and it's absolutely insane. There's three new game modes, balance changes, some crazy quality of life changes, but the biggest thing is the new game modes. So today we're gonna try and cover everything in this massive update, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with the new maps here and the first new map is called Dark Shadows. And what's really cool about it is that you can't even see a single thing. Like look, if you drag towers, you can't even see those. So this map requires a lot of in-game knowledge because you can't see what's going on. I really like that. We also have Blins, BLNS, I don't, I don't pronounce it, but I, I don't really like this map actually. It seems way too easy, right? It's just like a standard easy map, like I don't know. Lastly, we have New Zealand. Ninja Kiwi created a one-to-one -one scale replica of New Zealand. So if we start round one here, like you can see the balloons start at the top, all right? Like that's a pretty cool map. Next, we have some balance changes. First, Ring of Fire is getting a plus one attack speed buff. It, it's just pretty standard. You can't really see it, but it'll help it out in certain situations. Next, Spike Factory is getting a 3% range buff, all right? And so it's not really gonna affect its damage, but it just makes it easier to place because it'll be able to hit the track a little bit easier if you're placing it farther from the track. Lastly, Sniper is getting the ability to insta-kill any balloon. So if you have this BAD here, like look at that. That's absolutely insane. People are probably gonna use Sniper a lot more now. Now on top of the balance changes, we also have a new hero skin, Helium Quincy. Are you kidding me? Nothing gets past my ball. Now let's pop into the quality of life changes and there are some massive ones. Like this changes the game forever. First we have the new quintuple cash mode for $10,000. So it's five times cash mode, a better version of the double cash mode. If you do grab it, be sure to use code Alukian. Next we have the new all songs button on the jukebox. <laughs> Sounds great. The next change is that Golden Blue doesn't land. It just flies on the screen forever. We also have pop-up ads now in BTD6, which can help you find hot single moms if you're looking for one of those. Super helpful. Daily challenges now give actual money instead of monkey money. So it's really good to do daily challenges now. Also, Ninja Kiwi decided to change their company name to Binja Biwi. It might take some getting used to, but I really support Binja Biwi's decision on this one. Lastly, they added a trash can in game. So if you have too much money, you can dump it there, which is just super helpful. But now we're gonna go over the biggest quality of life change and that is the realism update. They've heard everyone's feedback about the game not being realistic enough, so they added a bunch of cool features. First, they're still working on the rest of the game, but everything in the game will be getting noses. I'm super glad they're finally addressing this. It was really distracting how the monkeys had no noses, but now it looks better. We also have monkey noises when you're playing. The more monkeys, the more monkey noises. <laughs> It's super fun and there's actually no way to turn it off, which I think really helps with the realism. Also, towers now have a 10% chance each round to give up, which I find very realistic. Like they probably get tired. But lastly is my favorite rework and that is Paragon Degrees. They were way too complicated with the sacrifices and the pop count and like, it was just so confusing. So they reworked it so that your Paragon Degree is whatever temperature is outside your house right now. So right now for me, it's like 59 degrees sunny. So any Paragons I place become 59 degrees. This means American players will technically have an advantage over European players because they use Fahrenheit, which is in general a higher number than Celsius. But lastly, we have the newest game modes and these are absolutely insane. This is 100% my favorite update of all time. And there's actually three entire new game modes. We first have the new toilet mode. You enter the amount of time you'll be pooping, let's say 15 minutes. After you do that, it will give you a challenge that's about 15 minutes long. So once you're done pooping, you're done playing. You can also specify how easy things are going. So like if your poop is gonna require more pushing and focus, you can get an easier challenge. But if it's just sliding out and you don't really have to focus on it, you can get a harder challenge. It also comes with reminders not to drop your device into the toilet, which is super helpful. The next game mode is this PvP game mode, and man, it is just so cool, all right? You can do head-to-head -head balloon battles, so it's like BTD6 versus another player, and you can like send balloons. It's absolutely insane, like Ninja Kiwi is going all out this update. But the last game has to be my favorite, 10,000 times speed chimps. It's absolutely insane, the hardest game of by far, but I think we're gonna go for it. Let's give it a shot here. Oh my gosh, we're actually insane. Like, look at, that's crazy. So what was your favorite part of the update? For me, it's probably the Paragon Degree Wear work, but I really like everything. Like, Binja Biwi completely knocked this one out of the park. Thanks for watching, and be sure to brush your teeth. Also, heroes now have a 5% chance of criticizing you. Get a haircut.